Hey there guys, Mr. Zegner here again. We have lesson 2-5. We're subtracting integers today. All right, we're going to kick right in with the whole concept of how to subtract. To subtract an integer, we're going to add its opposite. That's really important. Again, we're adding the opposite, it turns out, of the first number. Of the first number, we're going to add the opposite. So what that means is, well, let me rewrite this problem into something that makes sense. So while we're starting with 4 minus 9, we're actually going to do this add the opposite of the second number. The way I like to remember that is the letters KCC. Almost looks like Kentucky Fried Chicken, KFC, but it's KCC. And KCC stands for keep, change, change. Just a little quick, easy way to help remember what to do. So we're going to keep that first number. So it's going to stay a 4. Then we're going to change the sign. Well, it's currently minus. We're going to make that plus. And then the opposite, add the opposite of the second number. So we're going to change this 9 to a negative 9. All right, so now we're back to the problem 4 plus negative 9. Now, we already did problems like this in the previous lesson, 2-4, adding integers. We talked about several ways to solve that. But basically, it goes something like this. When the signs are different in an addition problem, as in the case of a positive 4 and a negative 9, we actually find the absolute value of both numbers and then subtract. So that would look like this. Now let's see. If I find the absolute value of both of these numbers, the absolute value of 4 is 4, and the absolute value of 9, I'm sorry, negative 9 is positive 9. Now I'm just going to subtract and find the difference. Well, I'm just going to use the bigger number first. So that's 9 minus the 4 is 5. But is it positive 5 or negative 5? Well, as we've talked about, the number with the larger absolute value, well, that would be this 9. 9 is definitely bigger than 4. That 9 was originally negative. So therefore, our answer is negative. There are many ways to think about it, and I discussed four unique different ways to figure out if an answer is positive or negative. If you need some more help with that, let me know. Um, I'll be glad to go over those methods with you again, and we can get you on the right track. All right, let's keep moving. So here we go with our examples. Our first one is 13 minus 21. So let's use that keep, change, change, and see what that problem turns into. So instead of 13 minus 21, we're actually going to do the problem 13. Keep that first number. Change the sign to plus, And now we're going to change the second number. So the opposite of 21 is negative 21. All right. So we have 13 plus negative 21. So again, following those steps, find the absolute value of both numbers. When we have numbers that are different signs, again, this is positive, this is negative. So we find the absolute value of both numbers. So the absolute value of 21 is 21. I'm sorry, of negative 21 is 21. And the absolute value of 13 is 13. And we just subtract. So again, if those signs are different, find the absolute value of each number, and then subtract. 21 minus 13 is, of course, 8. But is it positive 8 or negative 8? Well, the larger absolute value, the larger absolute value is 21. And that 21 was originally negative. So the answer is also negative. So our answer is negative 8. Negative 9 minus 11. Again, using keep, change, change. So I have negative 9 minus 11. Alrighty. So I'm keeping that negative 9 the same. Changing the sign to plus. Changing my 11 to negative 11. Oh, now that's a pretty easy problem. When you add two numbers that have the same sign, as in this case, we have a negative 9 and a negative 11, you just add them together as if they were positive. So negative 9 plus negative 11 is, of course, negative 20. There we go. All finished. Next one, 9 minus negative 4. Okay, keep, change, change. So we have 9 minus negative 4. So I keep that 9. I change that minus to plus. 
I change my second number from negative 4 to positive 4. Oh, hey, look how easy that is now. 9 plus 4, that's 13. All right, let's see what the next one looks like. 17 minus negative 6. Can you already see it coming? Are you starting to get used to the keep change change? I have a 17 minus negative 6. Keep the 17, change the minus, change the negative 6 to its opposite. Oh, there we go, another pretty easy one to solve. 17 plus 6, 23. All right, oh, a little bit of algebra. Al evaluate m minus n, all right, m minus n. If m is negative 6, okay, so m is negative 6, and n is 4, and that's 4. Now bring down my minus sign. So I'm actually doing negative 6 minus 4. So your first step there is to get those numbers in place of those variables, and now we just follow our order of operations and solve this. So we're going to do our keep, change, change, keep that negative 6, change our minus to plus, change our 4 to negative 4. Keep, change, change. So where do we end up? Well, negative 6 plus negative 4, as we discussed in the previous lesson, when they're both the same sign, like the case of negative 6 and negative 4, simply add them together. 6 plus 4 is 10, and since they're both negative, you have negative 10, which means it's A. All right, moving on. On a particular day in Anchorage, Alaska, the high temperature was 15 degrees and the low temperature was negative 11 degrees. What is the difference between these two temperatures for that day? A uh, difference. Difference tells me we're subtracting. So I need the difference, the subtracted difference between 15 degrees Fahrenheit, so 15, <clears throat> and negative 11. I need to actually subtract those numbers. All right, well, once again, we're going to use our keep, change, change. So I'm going to keep that 15, change that minus sign, then the opposite of negative 11 is positive 11. Oh, look at that. Nice, easy problem to solve. That's clearly 26. So the difference between 15 degrees Fahrenheit and negative 11 degrees Fahrenheit is actually 26 degrees. So the, they're 26 degrees apart. That's a big change in temperatures in one day. Oh, look at that. We're already at the end. And how'd I come in? Oh, right around eight minutes. Not bad for Mr. Zegner. <laughs> So don't forget, we're going to be using this keep, change, change over and over in class tomorrow. Um, well, when we're next together and if you're watching this over the weekend. And don't forget to keep that first number. Change the minus sign to plus, And then change that second number to its opposite. If that second number was negative, make it positive. And if it was positive, make it negative. Then you can just simply add those integers together, just like we did in the previous lesson. Hope this all made sense to you. If not, replay it again, or maybe do a search on YouTube for another video that shows subtracting integers and see what you can pull together so that you're in good shape for class. Answer the questions right after this video on my website, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.